So let's look at absenteeism. Let's look at why are people not in attendance and why are people sick? In any workplace, you're going to find mechanical strategies to try to influence the absentee rate. You're going to find hand sanitizer in the right place. You're going to find boxes the right size so we don't lift too much. You're going to find ergonomical chairs and those little soft padded things so when you use the mouse, you don't hurt your wrist too much. And these things are required and we need them and, the, and they do service. But if you want to develop resilience, if you want to develop a community where people are just driven to come to work, you need to tap into human spirit. Human spirit has a far greater influence on health than any of those mechanical things. And this, the reference point I like to use for this is that we've pretty much all had that, that experience as a kid when you've been sick all week and you've taken the week off school and on Friday night you get invited to a party and you know you can't go because you've been sick. And your mate says, yeah, but the thing is that girl you really liked, she's, she's gonna be there. And apparently she's got a crush on you too. Bang, you are cured, you, 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 you are well. Now, are you really well? No, you're not well. What's happened is that you've now got enough of a reason to tolerate your symptoms. Not only that, you've somehow generated energy to tolerate the symptoms that you've got. Now, it's not an intellectual decision. This wasn't a, you've gone, oh, you've thought it through. It's not that something just clicked. The human spirit was engaged. And the human spirit doesn't mean that we now have to go and make sure everyone's got a crush at the workplace. Obviously, that's not the way to handle this. What we're saying is that the human spirit needs a, needs a few fundamental things taken care of. One, it needs a sense of purpose. It needs to know why. Like, why should I go? Like, really, is this menial task that I do, does it have a, a bigger purpose? Does it, does it influence the world? Is it, is it impacting the customer? I don't know. Is it impacting my teammates? I, I don't know. It doesn't seem to matter. We need to feel like what we do matters. We need to also feel important. Like, when I... When I go to work, am I welcomed with high fives and a bit of energy and, hey, how's your weekend? Are people checking with me? Or do people not even know my name? Like, if I don't go, does it really matter? Does anybody care? Am I missed? People want to feel important. People want to grow. They've got to feel like today they are somehow more than yesterday. Now, sometimes that's financially. The bank account's gone up. But for most people, it's about skill development of themselves, what they're capable of, what they can do, what they can tell their friends, oh, at work, I'm doing this now. And sometimes when leaders hear that, managers hear that, they think, oh, well, not everybody can be a manager. We can't promote everybody. That's not what this is about. This is just about having some little area where you feel like you're getting, you're getting better. Even in some organizations, you'll see a big sign up saying, 250 days since the last workplace accident. And there's, there's a morale in the place that goes, let's get that to 300. See, that's growth. Not people don't want to be promoted necessarily. They just got to feel like somehow today they're better than yesterday. And the other one that people really want, the human spirit really wants, is they want to they want to be able to serve their community. They actually want to be able to help those people around them. Sometimes they're not even aware of it, but they do. There's people that come to work and they're involved in a footy club and they see some crates laying around like, oh, geez, that'd, that'd really help the boys down the club. And they also want to say to their theater group or their family or their cousins, Oh, look, I might be able to get you something from work. I might be able to help. And it's not that they want to take something from work, but work has resources that it's really incidental, that it means a lot to this community. And people want to be involved with contributing to those around them. So if we want to reduce the absentee rate, what we have to do is we have to start looking at our workplace and saying, well, if we ask staff how important they felt, how would they score their importance level out of 100? If we had to ask them, well, what purpose do you think your, your role has out of 100? How important do you think it is? Like as far as larger contribution to the planet and the like, what would you rate out of 100? How would you rate out of 100 the growth available to you? Or how would you rate out of 100 the opportunity that this job allows you or creates for you to be able to serve your community or the other things that are important? Now, you might hear that from some idealism. Oh, we can't just start going around giving stuff for free to our community. We, can't create growth for everybody. And you know, some jobs are just menial. No, 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 no. That's not actually accurate. That is, that is a crisis management. I don't want to look at this. I don't have a skill to look at this approach. The, the strategy, the, all those things can be put in place, but you want to do as part of a plan. What most people do is they go into a fruit basket or they get a motivational speaker or they have a barbecue for morale. And these things are great and they should totally be done. And at workplace incentives, you know, myself and all the crew, we all do those sorts of things. But really you need to do it as part of a game plan. 
if you just bring in a fruit basket for everybody and it's a one-off token gesture, it doesn't feel very sincere. However, if you're putting into place as a manager, as a leader, a system that says, no, my people are important and I'm gonna grow everybody and I'm really gonna address this. And the people really start to feel it and they feel it consistently. And they see that it's, it's time is given to it, resources given to it, and that it's alive in the workplace. It's, not just, it's just not just management by cliche. Then you tap into human spirit. You, you wanna get all your intent and all your effort to address this as part of a game plan. And, and all the crew at Workplace Incentives can do it and everybody specializes in a slightly different area of it. Different area might be more relevant to you. But the, the message is simple. If you wanna reduce absenteeism, then people need to feel important. They need to feel like they've got purpose. They need to grow and they need to be able to contribute to the people around them because of their role. And the way to do that is to have some sort of game plan.